Hello, sweethearts! Potikaki on the casual gamers, nest and welcome back to the cat lady. Uh, in the previous episode, we met Crazy Joe, uh, the guy in the apartment number three. Uh, we had a death sequence again, uh, Susan died, and um, we also met the deceased or tortured wife of Joe's. I, I, I'm not sure whether she was alive or not. I mean, I, I couldn't tell the difference. I, it was kind of weird. But anyway, it seems like we finally found the Eye of Adam. We are in his place. He invited us over. Well, the last episode was really huge, so... Um, yeah, I know, right? Um, let's see. I don't like the look of that water. There isn't a single fish in the tank. It looks fishy! Just look at this door! Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. You have a crowbar or something? You seem so casual about it. Like you don't care. Oh, the old man. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room. Staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here. And he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. What is it? A box. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoe box. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? Cardboard suit box. Well, nothing special about it. It's a mask. Oh, God. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. Remind me, should I have saved the game before all that? Oh gosh. It's too late. Crap. Shit. Oh, shit. 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 No. Stop that, Adam. You're going to kill your father. We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? 
No, no, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No, I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. Well, thing is, I cannot die, right? I mean, I keep coming back no matter how many times I've died. So... I think the proper thing to do right here is give the mask to Mitzi. No. You've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! Nobody cares about the old guy. I know I'm not dead. I'll come back to haunt everyone. Yes. I'm back at the crops again. In this creepy woods. In a while, Queen of Maggots. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they'd chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that, and yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that- Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. All those feelings I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. 
I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. You can still refuse, right? <clears throat> no, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle. It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Yeah. Tomato. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Oh. So sweet. I'm back, Mitty. Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Ugh. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. Yes. It's time to face the eye of Adam. Time to face the music. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Ooh, developer faces. Is that him? You're... You're the eye of Adam? A pathetic... wheelchair-bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you... Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? Fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm Just gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! Anything! He is a vegetable. Mitzi. Where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... 
How did he post all that stuff online? What the? With the power of his brain. <laughs> how... How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous! How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well... I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really hmm. is just the Eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. Okay, he takes his sweet time to write something to us, so we have to wait, I guess. Oh, what's the cats? What? You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it. Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? Because I loved him. Okay, I'm screwing up the story here. Sorry. Well, I think I know why. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Oh god, that's a cat. Okay. Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out. As soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me! I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. I've run out of lives, Mitzi. Get serious. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. Okay, the guy obviously wants us to kill him because he cannot move, he's miserable with his life, so he kind of uh, takes revenge upon other people on the internet because that's the only power he's got left, so one thing for sure, I think we have more options here, let's see, uh, this is the way to do it, uh... This isn't the way to do it, just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this. Even if we survive the explosion, 
How will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable. Stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. He's right, and you he'll know. never see a computer screen again. Oh, yeah. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. Put the gun down. Come on. You should leave, Mrs. A. I've never wanted you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? Get me. What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. I care about you. Yeah. Do it for me. Yes. I knew it. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. He'll die oh. of starvation anyway. I'm the cat lady. Yeah. From now on, I win every single day. But I've run out of lives. Goodbye, Mr. Vegetable Eye of Adam, sir. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral, and there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them tried to help.
I did something and good now for a change. I'm writing this blog. Hmm. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Nice. Nice. Uh... One, if not the best horror adventure game I've ever played. It was the Cat Lady, and I already know there is more than one ending, and I'm really, really, really tempted to go back and change some things before the ending, because I think that's a crucial part about the gas mask, about choosing if you blow out the candles or not about killing the Eye of Adam or uh, keeping him alive, so how about we go back and try out a different ending, what do you think? Let's do it! Well, in the meantime, while we wait, well, you don't have to wait, right? Uh, think about it, let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll be right back with uh, another ending of the Cat Lady. Hey guys, we're back here, um, and we're trying different endings for the cat lady, and this time... Opening the oh box... God. This time I'm going to uh, give the gas mask to Susan. Let's put it on! Now everything changes. Midge, goodbye. I loved you. Let's get it done. It's a deer in here. Oh, what on earth? Where did the deer go? The eye of the crow and the eye of Adam. Seems like I cannot escape the Queen of Maggots. Either way, we have to meet her before we end the game. Something we cannot skip. Alright, so... The last time we refused to blow out any candles. I'm gonna go for the left this time. Well done, Susan. Nothing happened. Can't go back. It's one way. And I'm not wearing my mask anymore. What gives? Yeah. 
It's just me and you. Hello, Adam. Mitzi is dead. Are you happy now? You don't have to answer. I'm not sure if you even can, but you got what you wanted. Congratulations. What are you anyway? You're paralyzed, aren't you? How convenient for you. I guess if you weren't, you'd be making a brilliant final speech right now. Something movie villains always do. You'd explain why you wished all those people dead. And then we would fight. Good versus evil. The way it always goes. But I don't know what's good and what's evil anymore. Perhaps I am the evil one here. I've done some horrible things. I let my friend die right in front of me. Because... Because... I'm scared of dying. Funny, isn't it? Susan Ashworth, a miserable reject who used to fantasize about suicide, chose to live after all. But this is your life we should talk about here, you parasite. You saw it all on your camera. Your own father choking to death after all those years he spent providing for you. You ungrateful pig. And Mitzi... She gave up her only chance for revenge, and sacrificed her life for me. Do you think I owe it to her to kill you? Come to think of it, it might be possible we could get a third ending with Mitzi killing the Eye of Adam. There he goes. Do it. How clever. Is this how you murder people? that device on your eye. It's a controller, isn't it? I can see why you're known as the Eye of Adam now. That evil eye is the only part of you that works. That and your brain, of course. All rotten inside. You have no idea what you've done, do you? You've made people kill themselves using just words on the screen. In a way... You are a very powerful man. Your wish shall be granted. Ooh, alternatives. So many options here. So many choices. He'll go with a big boom. Smoking kills. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. It was her decision to sacrifice her own life for the sake of mine. A decision that made me realize that people can still care about me. While her life was almost over anyway, she gave up on one thing that was most important to her. Revenge. And she did it for me. But if I really did become immortal for that short time in my life, wasn't it unnecessary for Mitzi to die before her time, poisoned like a rat? Well, one thing's for sure. I made that fucker pay for it. 
I still miss her, though, every day.